Hello, my name is Yuri and welcome to the Motion Picture Notion. This is my brother Ivan. Ivan Vipskanovich. I am his brother, twice removed from marriage. So uh, we just watched SS Doom Trooper, which was a sci-fi picture original from 2006. Um, yeah, right? 2006. Well, yeah, shot 2005, released 2006. I think, I think we just got to get the elephant out of the room really quick. <laughs> Private apocalypse. Well, okay. <laughs> there are two elephants that need getting out of the room. Uh, <laughs> One is Private Paco Lewis. We'll get into more detail in a sec. <laughs> but that freaking monster. The worst part of SS Doom Trooper, in it's, all God's honesty, is the, the SS Doom Trooper. Is the SS Doom Trooper. <laughs> Coming soon to Sega Dreamcast, SS Doom Trooper. It looks like a damn cartoon. Oh, it's it, it's fucking horrible. And even you would talk about it. The actual concept is very clearly, it's like, okay, this is like Nazi Hulk. Yeah. But... It's and the hell, the design is even cool. Like the helmet, it's like a Nazi helmet, but it's got like well, there's kind of like a Spartan like deal that comes down in front. And the thing that I find perplexing is that like the rest of the sets, given that it's a low budget sci fi mm -hmm. pictures, were pretty decent. Like they had tanks, they had an old school like World War II style Jeep. Like the uniforms were basically accurate i mean uh, yeah like i mean a, like i mean like if you're like splitting hairs and shit like it's not gonna be like perfectly accurate like i you know uh the weapons were all world war ii weapons and they weren't like mocked up world war ii weapons they were actually world war ii weapons yes there's gonna be inaccuracies but like again overall it's like wait a minute this looks good for you know a, a b movie like that that but uniform, some money went into it yeah and it's like and if nothing else even if no money went into it, it's still just that whole thing of like wait that uniform looks vaguely like what it's supposed to and look then like. they were broke and they went to like probably like a i was gonna say a university student who did graphic design but probably like ah, crackhead <laughs> yeah it's, like it's, it's strange because it is and we were talking about it a couple times like the film itself it's got good pacing yeah um Kind of, you know, gives you enough, just enough character development for just like, okay, this is check your brain at the door, go along for the ride. Like, it's like, you well, get you a, a, a swashbuckling, like, kind of yeah. just adventure. The acting varies. Um, the, I think that the acting is, act for the most part, is good. Yes. The Some of the, like, periphery characters are yeah, a little yeah. wooden. We can go up. <laughs> Not even that. Some of, like, the people in the beginning, like, the other soldiers, the American soldiers, their acting wasn't the best. It was wooden. The oh, like the the like the initial like when they're doing the meet and greet. Yeah, stuff. like yeah, like okay. when they're first uh, at the base yes. and like I like to fight, sir, with my hands. And then there's Private Parker Lewis. What accent was that? I don't. I I I I, I really it, don't know. All right, so I, I found it offensive the first time I watched that movie. Now I kind of shot enjoy in the it. dark. Shot in the dark. James Pomander. Private Parker Lewis from SS Doom Trooper. If you should ever watch this... What were you doing? No judgment. We just want to know. We enjoy the movie. We enjoy the character. Yeah, yeah. Like, but we can't fucking figure out what Is it accent. Philadelphia? Is it Boston? Is it New York? What are we working on here? Really? Yes, say. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me, James. We're, uh, we're going to need you to do an accent. Well, you can just forget about that, Captain. You might as well just throw me back in the goddamn brig. This <laughs> is fucking... Oh, man. Again, no bullshit. Like, we enjoy the movie. We enjoy the character. But, like, yeah, no. I just, we, we, We've been fucking... What? We, we first... I watched it back when it came out on Sci-Fi Channel. And you watched it, what, 10 years ago? Yeah, something like that. Can you only get it on DVD now? I, don't, I had to pay 75 bucks to get that from China. And then we had to run. Are you shitting me? Yeah. And then we had to run. Which is it's called Cyborg Soldier. In Cyborg China? Soldier in China. Um, really? And that was the only copy on the site that Justin and I found. It was Justin and I went 50 50 on it because it was 75 bucks. Jesus. And then, and then we had to run it through. Um, I'm trying to recommend this to people. I know. <laughs> Good luck finding it. If you try to look it up on YouTube, all the trailers for it are in German, not in English. No, I'm dead oh, serious. No, when, I, when I told you this movie's obscure. I meant it. All right. Well, it would be worth it if you found it for less than 75 bucks. I mean, I personally, I enjoy the sci-fi pictures originals from like the 90s and the mm -hmm. 2000s. They're fun. They're dumb fun. And especially in this day and age, you know, where everything's so friggin' serious and shit. These are just good, dumb fun. It's like mm -hmm. the, the pacing is good. The writing isn't horrible. I mean, no, I mean for, it, for what it is. It's well, like for, I said, you actually like certain characters. Yeah. Like... And even the characters that you're not, like, a fan of, it's like, oh, wait, well, that's funny guy number one, that's cool guy number two, and, like, ooh, that's explosive guy. It was well enough written that it's, like, when a character like that gets killed off, it's not like, oh, my God, I can't believe they killed... It's more like, oh, fuck, I like that guy. Yeah. You know, it's just, like, that's the best way I could put it. And for a movie like 
from the sci-fi channel. Fuck it. Fuck Digger it. was the best oh. character. Oh god. Oh yeah. He's, he's like <laughs> lost like sixty percent of his hearing because he just blows everything yeah. up. Like <laughs> Digger. Digger. <laughs> <laughs> no, that was great. No, and it's funny because like, and Harry Van Gorkum's another one. Harry Van Gorkum's been in like A-lister films. He's still in A-lister films, but like. Was in that. You know, he's been like little bit parts and stuff, some larger parts and shit. He's also the bad guy in that piece of shit, Dragonheart, too. Never saw it. <sighs> Didn't want to. Saw the trailer. Yeah. Saw the Kung Fu chick, and I was like, yeah, Not I'm Malcolm good. In the I'm middle. cool. Malcolm I'm in the Middle's older brother. Oh, yeah, yeah Malcolm in the Middle's older Versus Dragons. And Scary shit. movie, too. Yeah. That was his best role. Yeah, no. Dude, legit. someone's on the rag. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, no, like, honestly, Sergeant, or, uh, Sergeant Digger was great. Yeah. And, like, the thing that he and I reference a lot is, and spoiler warning, for those three of you that can find this full DVD or rip or whatever online. Like, there's a point where, like, Sergeant Digger, you know, dies. And then, like, literally sitting on a pile of TNT, detonates the pile. Enough to level, like, a mountain. Yeah, like, it takes out an entire satellite array, or, uh, like, radar array. Done. And, what, 15 minutes later? Yeah, inexplicably like right after out. they blow up the compound and they come out, he's just like alive. Yeah, he crawls out from under the rubble. And I don't even give a shit. It's not a good movie, but we were just having a discussion about what exactly constitutes a good movie. Okay? And it's not worth the 75 bucks, but I'm a saint. Right. It, it was for me, because, and again, this is my own specific thing on it. Like, I remember watching it on Sci-Fi Channel. And I was like, dude, this movie's awesome. Granted, I was probably still on, because that's back when I still smoked pot. But, um, oh, Oh, man. You're thinking about that now. <laughs> oh, yeah. This movie's got to be great if you smoke pot. Don't do drugs, kids. Don't. But if you smoke pot already, damage is done. <laughs> if, you, if, you, if, you, if you do drugs, you wind up like the SS Doom Trooper. <laughs> yeah. I feel like they could have just run around him. It <laughs> just tired him out. Yeah. Once he, once he like ran out of bullets and he took the thing off, I'm like, all right, well now what's he going to do? <laughs> well, that was funny. And again, as far as like plot points go, that is funny. Cause you were like, when he drops the ammo and they're all hiding behind the fucking wall and he's like patrolling from me, like realistically, I could just outrun him at this point. <laughs> you like didn't even try to hide it. You were like, yeah, they should have done some like incredible Hulk shit where he can leap. Yeah. Know, yeah. Like a... Even if it wasn't like crazy, like if he could like literally like heave, 30 feet at a time a missed opportunity like one of them could have could have turned around and been like sir he's too slow we got this all of a sudden he jumps and he's just like huh it's just fun oh I mean, dr fauci oh god <laughs> the nazi scientist who creates the doom trooper i'm sorry he reminds me of fauci ben Cross. it's a look i'm sorry <laughs> <laughs> oh god and then we're going to come out with the Omicron clone trooper. Oh yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. Imagine what an army these things would be like if they met the if they met the first army. You'd be like, oh my god, we'd have the biggest sneezes and sniffles ever for the episode. Honestly, watch the German trailer. You still see the thing, right? Watch, watch, watch the German trailer, so you can at least see the trooper. Oh, there's a cat butt right here. Oh, cat. No, the pizza's not for you, Baba. No, I don't care. You just... Tango. Yeah, you. That's racist. Corin Nemec, what was it like, or what is it like to date Daniela Harris? He did date her? Or is currently dating her? I don't care. They were an item. Y'all were... were uh, Corin Nemec, if you watch this video, um, please leave a like and subscribe. And let us know, like, if, or did, or do, you... Daniel Harris, what's she like? She almost gave my brother a heart attack one time. Daniel Harris, what's you like in the sack, baby? <laughs> all right, that's all she wrote. Subscribe.